A breakthrough treatment has likely cured a third person of HIV. An American woman has been in remission now for 14 months after being treated with adult stem cells and umbilical cord blood. Joining us to talk about this transplant procedure is our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy. Uh, Dr. Nandy, good afternoon to you. What can you tell us about this case and the treatment that's involved? Good afternoon, Glenda. Uh, pretty, pretty cool stuff here. The patient involved has asked for privacy, so you know I can't give you too many details. But we do know that she's a middle-aged woman of mixed race. She lives in New York and was diagnosed uh, with HIV back in 2013. And in 2017, Glenda, she was diagnosed with leukemia, which is a uh, cancer of the blood cells. And to treat her cancer, here's what happened. The woman needed a stem cell transplant, which is she was given a combination of adult stem cells taken from a relative's blood and then umbilical cord blood that was genetically matched. The cord blood uh, came from a cord, cord blood bank. And, 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 and what's important about this cord blood was that it contained a genetic mutation that was resistant to HIV. Now, what happened after this new procedure was that the woman's immune system rebuilt itself with this HIV resistant cells from the umbilical cord blood and, and her own cells became resistant to HIV. How do we know that? Well, she stopped all of her HIV treatment and 14 months later, amazingly, there's still, Glenda, were no signs of, uh, signs of the virus, and she continues to test negative for HIV. Of course, uh, she's still being watched closely. She's part of a study that followed Americans with HIV that have undergone a transplant. So pretty amazing. That's incredible. So can this new breakthrough treatment help millions of Americans who have HIV? And Doc, how does this set the stage for curing other viruses in the future? It's a good question. So, you know, I think this is really interesting and, and, and a breakthrough, but I don't want to give false hope, right? You just don't want to give that. While this treatment was a huge breakthrough, and I agree with that, unfortunately it will not be readily available to the 36 million folks uh, living with HIV around the world. Uh, and there's only two other people, Glenda, who have been cured of HIV, Timothy Ray Brown, and, and, and he's known as the Berlin patient, and then Adam Cast Castileo, uh, known as the London patient, these two patients underwent a bone marrow or stem cell transplant. And what people need to know is that a bone marrow transplant can be risky, can have dangers. And the key reason why this particular woman we're talking about with HIV was given a stem cell transplant was because of her cancer. It's generally only considered when there are no other options. Right now we have really great drugs, powerful drugs that can control HIV to the point where that the virus is undetectable. And, and those of you who are watching who have HIV, continue with your drugs. We'll keep an eye on this and, and see how, how we can progress to really expand to others. But uh, to me, it's still a, a huge breakthrough that, uh, that I'm glad we're talking about. Yes, yeah, certainly. Dr. Nandy, thank you for sharing with us this afternoon.